sent Adam a drawing. He marked it up, sent it back. Let's make some changes here in the Fusion model. To take a quick rewind, we started with a 2D sketch and we actually did a Fusion Friday showing the real basics if you're new to Fusion on how uh, we rough out uh, the sketches to make a part like this. After we had our sketch, we extruded this solid chunk, filleted the corners, put a hole through there, put a hole through there, added that circular boss up. I think that's about all we did in the Fusion Friday video. Yep, and then we put a slot here at the end and the cross drilled hole. And I think the last thing was this chamfer up there. So first thing I just noticed is the 751 on this hole. So if I click this hole, see how I get the little um, three dots above it? That tells me that's what the feature is. Uh, the feature is the extrusion of it. It's the thing before it, the sketch that I wanna edit. Right click and we'll just say 0.751. That was easy. Stop sketch. Cross that off the list. The overall height 2.437. That'll be back on my first sketch. Right click, edit. 2.437. Enter, and I notice already that that changes the, I gotta pay attention to this angle here, so. This, okay, so here, the reason that's driven lower is because it's driven by this two inch dimension here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'll take this, instead of having it be just two inches, I'll click, I love this, on the two, 2.437, which is a formulaic link or formula link, and I'll just type minus 0.125. Um, minus, it would help if I did it correctly. Minus that, that should give it to me. Boom, awesome. Okay, actually I'll use a red pen here so we can see what we've got left. The outside edge to the center of this hole is 1.125. So if you take a look, I sketched that whole section as 2.5. So he doesn't have a dimension, but I'm guessing it's on center. So that's just going to be, uh, I don't like doing math in my head. 1.125 times 2. I actually do like doing math in my head, except uh, when you make a mistake. And that's not, uh, it's not good. So boom. Uh, he mentioned that here, OAL will be about 7 and a quarter. Uh, I'm sure you'll find out. I'm not sure what that means. Sounds ominous. So overall length. So I don't have an overall length dimension right now. Let's see here. So the way I can do that, it's right now it's this, the overall length is driven by, hmm, let me think about that. If I did... He didn't give me the five and a quarter. We just made that up. And I don't know if this is similar to that. We can delete it. We still can't drag our line here. So it probably has to do with the top dimensions. I know that's true. Uh, he didn't give me this. Actually, he did. No, oh, whoops. You know what? Ooh, interesting. He did give me this. So, haha. Uh, I didn't even think about that. Ignore what I said earlier. One point. 625, one point. Okay, so that's, so that's actually gonna drive, oh, here, follow along here. Delete this. Now I should be able to edit the length. Not sure why it's being fully constrained. It's like I, oh. Did I have that here? Was that there the whole time? Mm -hmm. 
uh, 7.25. There we go. And I want this height to be 0.125. That was this guy right here. The circle flange is two inches, but the uh, I think he's okay having the flat extend beyond it. So we're going to do two and a quarter, which is what I have pretty much. Um, cool. Hit stop sketch. Let's go back here. Oh, you know what? I want to have that be, oh, this piece I need to edit. So that's two inches. So if I click on it, it's this feature. So it's probably this sketch. You ever get that where you right click and it doesn't give you an edit sketch option, it's grayed out. It's probably because you have something highlighted up here. Um, if you just drag a box, it deselects everything. That usually fixes it. So here we go, right here, right click, edit sketch. What did I do this as? Dimension 2.5, great. So that's two inches and so I think, well, that's not gonna be right, but we'll fix it here because what he's saying is that that whole outside here is two inches. We modeled the thickness of the part though as 2.5, see that 2.5 there? So I guess I'll have to ask him, is the whole thing only two inches thick? That would, um, let's assume that. I think that makes sense. So uh, back here, the first one, extrude, right click, edit, and change that to two inches. Does that cause us a problem? The fillets are now only one inch. And Okay, so see how we've got some problems here? No worries. What I like to do is see at the end of this timeline down at the bottom, I can click on this last marker and drag it back. And I like to move it forward one increment at a time and kind of see, okay, where did we go awry? So that hole's off. So I'm going to edit this sketch and I want this hole to be concentric. So I'll click concentric here and there. Boom, done. Next thing, same issue, concentric. Uh, you know what, you could also do coincident. Coincident, the center point to the purple point there. That snaps it concentrically. And the boss is now good. We might be okay, actually. Yep, that updated, I think, everything. What was this hole? That was a quarter inch, so our quarter inch here is okay. The through shaft is 812, and that's definitely not correct right now. I click on that, it's this feature here. So again, I'll edit the sketch behind it, and we'll say two inches here. And this one, okay, so uh, it's actually not this one, it's this one, I think. Yeah, there we go. 0.812. So the only thing left is, we did the two inch. The only thing left will be these uh, two tapers. So the top one, we've, we're deleting. This guy no longer exists. Uh, well, actually, it does exist. It's just a 10 degree taper down to a certain point. And, and then there's a 45 degree here. So now, here's the thing. We can do this with the chamfer features with determining two distances or angles and distances. But I would rather use a revolve because I'm gonna, it's more intuitive to me and it gives me more control. So I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna create a construct axis through cylinder like so. And then I wanna create a mid plane. So right now, yeah, I don't, I want a plane right between these two. So check it out, construct, it's easy, mid plane, Pick this plane and that plane, 
So now I've got a sketch plane right in the middle. So I'm going to hit alpha line, pick that sketch plane. So I, I need to create some intersection geometry so that I can see where I'm working. So if I hit P for project, and I want to project, actually, you know what I really just want to project is the center mark. And that's what's strange. It's not giving me, um, even though I'm clicking um, the, this circle here, it's not giving me the center. If I click this one, I get it. Okay, so that's weird. Um, if I click this, I get the top plane. So there's probably a better way to do this, but this should work. Click OK. Basically, I want a point right at the top here. Uh, I'll just sketch one at the bottom as well. Yeah, that gives me exactly what I want. See that point? That's at the bottom and the center. Now I can turn my body off temporarily and I'm gonna delete some extra stuff here because it's, an, it's going to be distracting. See this line? I want a point from here through that all the way up here. So take a look, I'll sketch it out of place and then what I'll do is I'll say coincident. That line needs to coincide with there. And then I should be able to trim the extra. So that black line is exactly what I want. And that's actually all that I want right now. So if I go back to select, I'm going to turn off this plane. But I'm also going to delete all this extra stuff. And I'll click this, I'll hit X for construction, so it turns it into a construction line. And I'll, that's basically a piece of geometry that we're not using in the output of the model, it's just a supporting piece of geometry. I'll right click on it, or sorry, actually I'll click on it once and I'll choose Fix. It locks it in place and I'll turn my body back on and I can take a look and I can see that that sketch line, um, visually, you can, you can get a pretty good idea that it's right down the center of the part. So I'll go back to turn my body off here. Actually, this is cool. Check this out. So we need a 1.375 inch long final radius. So I'm going to sketch a line, dimension it, 1.375, and then I'll go coincident, pick the midpoint of this line, which I hover along it. It should snap to. See that little green dot we get? That's the midpoint to here. That puts a midplane uh, that puts that line right on center. That comes up at a 45 degree and meets the 0.812 dimension. So I'm on L for line. Just sketch a line right here. D for dimension. 45 degrees. And I want this point to here. That'll be the 0.812 divided by 2. I'll do the same thing over here. I'll link them formulaically, which is kind of cool. And boom. That gives me this 45 degree taper down here. And then from there, it's a 10 degree taper all the way up to the top uh, where we've got the 1.156. L for line. Make that 1.156. And this is the big, this is what I really want you guys to see is coincident. Pick the center of this line right there, that little green dot, and the center here. And now it snaps it too. So this actually should be, um, I shouldn't even be able to pick that, to be honest with you. Let me think about that. What is that angle? Uh, It's a little bit less than uh, 10 degrees. So what that means is we've got a straight walled section here. Okay, so I'll undo this. I'll do a straight wall up and then I'll come over. So 80 degrees and that drives that length and I'll do the same thing over here. Actually, you know, you know what? I just realized I only have to do half of it. That's kind of funny. Oops. So we turn our body back on. 
So we've got that custom profile. And again, I goofed. I really didn't have to create both halves. I'll click Create, Revolve. I want to revolve this profile. See if we can pick the whole thing around the axis as a cut. And it's not going to let me because you really only can pick half. So the way to fix that is to change that away from a construction line back to a solid. And now I can see how I can pick just the half of it. Revolve this around that as a cut. And now I've got the 45 degree down here, the straight wall, and that's all a 10 degree. I or I to measure. I'll check this out. That is a the 1.375, so that matches. And that up here is the 1.156. And I don't know if can I measure the degrees at the taper. And there probably is a way. Um, I don't know. But I know it well. I, I don't. I don't have a way to check it. But I know it is because that's why I like doing that sketch. Is it just gives me the confidence that hey, I set that at the 10 degrees. So that makes me feel good. So I will uh, send this off to Adam. See if he has any final comments. Make sure. I think the big assumption was the two inch uh, width. But make sure we're good, and we'll take it from there. Thanks, folks.